A reading from Isaiah 53, verse 1 to 5. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Imagine what you're feeling right now. Salome, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat this for you. After I saw the way they treated my son, my heart is completely broken. After I saw the way he suffered by the hand of some of the very same people whom he had helped. So me, it was just a week ago. They were waving palms. They were laying their clothes on the ground, saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Look how the tide has turned. Look how quickly their hearts have darkened. Mm -hmm. On one hand, you have a crowd shouting in chorus, crucify him, crucify him, crucify, crucify him. 
<laughs> and on the other hand, Salome, the same people whom he had saved from their sins, at one time, he healed them from their diseases. He set them free from their captivity. Now look at them, laughing, joking, mocking him, saying, let's see him save himself. How about that? Save himself? After all he did for them, save himself? And I know that he could have saved himself, but he chose not to. But the thing that really got to me, the thing that amazed me about all that happened on that day was his amazing love. Despite all he had been through, the suffering, the agony, the pain, he still looked on those people and said to them, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. Immediately after he died, there was this huge earthquake. Yes. Graves started opening up. Saints who were dead and gone on before, they were now walking these very same streets that we run. And then all of a sudden, the place became like pitch black. It was like the sun refused to shine. And that veil in the temple, that curtain tore all the way from the top to the bottom. Mm. Salome, this must prove that he was more than just the son yes. of a mortal man. Hallelujah. He was indeed the son of the most high God. There was a thief that hung alongside him. He looked over. He recognized who Jesus was. Mm. He said to him, please remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus answered him and said, you will be with me in paradise. Yes. That was the kind of person my son Jesus was. Yes. So loving, kind, yes. forgiving, yes. merciful. Mm -hmm. After all that these people did to him, he looked at that thief and said, Please remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said, you would be with me in paradise. Hallelujah. I know that there's a reason for all of this. There has to be a purpose. But our Lord Jesus is still dead, Mary. Your son, he's still dead. But... Let's go to the tomb. Mary Magdalene might be there. We can go and bomb the body of our Lord and Savior with spices. Okay, but hold on. Who you think gonna be moving this big heavy stone? You gonna use a muscle. Muscle, Salome, are you serious? Okay. Jesus worked many miracles. The impossible became possible with him. Yes, we can in Jesus' name. So let's go and do this. Crucified, laid behind the stone. He lived to die, rejected and alone like a rose trampled on the ground you took the form and thought of me above all 24 verses 1 to 9 now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre, and they entered in, 
and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words, and returned from the sepulchre, and told all these things unto the eleven, and to all the rest. Living among the dead, he is not here, he is risen. Hallelujah. You know, he did say in his teaching that evil men would crucify him, but on the third day, he would rise again. I never quite understood, but I do now. Has anything like this ever happened before? Well, no, not that I know of it. Wait, he did say that he would destroy the temple yes. and build it back in three days. Yes. Oh, yes. that must have been what he was talking about. Yes. Do you guys realize what's happened? Our Lord and Savior is risen. He is risen. Yes. He is alive yes. forevermore. Yes. That died for our sins. Raised again for our justification. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. He was buried. Mm -hmm. He died. He was buried. He rose again on the third day like he said he would. Yes. Hallelujah. This is Ooh. enough to give God all the glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So let's keep the faith and spread the word. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. That our Lord God in heaven gave us this wonderful gift wow, yes. when he gave his only yes. begotten son yes. us, so that we might have everlasting yes. life yes. hallelujah yes. hallelujah thank you lord for your unspeakable, unspeakable gift, gift. Hallelujah.